So let's take a look at, uh, I want an assignment inside my Schoology course. And this assignment, what I want to do is I've got a Google document where I have made basically a template for the students. I've got spots where I want them to answer some stuff. So I've made a table that I want them to enter in some information, you know, some questions that they want them to answer. I've got the basic format for the document that I want them to submit. So how do I use this, get this into Schoology? Because Google Classroom, it was easy. I would take this and say, make a copy for every student, and then it would go. So what I need to do is when I'm in Schoology, and this is my course, I go to my Add Materials, and first thing I'm doing is I'm adding an assignment. So assignment dialog pops up. I give it a name. In here would be my description, which basically I could put in as my instructions. So here what I'm going to say is that, you know, I'm going to tell them to click on the link below to get the document they're going to work on. Now I'm going to shift from Schoology and go over to my Google account. So let's say right here, this is the document that I want every student to have. So there's two different steps that I've got to do. The first thing I've got to do is I've got to share this document because the default is that's private only to me. So when I click on share, I'm going to then click on sh get shareable link. And I want to change this from when it says only want Spring Grove. I'm going to click on that. I'm going to go down here to more. And now I'm going to select up here where it says on anyone with the link can view. And that's all they're going to be able to do is to be able to view it right now. So I'm going to click save. Now kind of counterintuitive to what you usually do with the Google stuff, I don't want to do anything with this link. Okay, where it says, oh, anyone with the link can view, I'm going to grab that. Nope, don't bother. You're just going to click done. All right. Now the link that I'm going to grab is actually the link that I'm seeing on my computer screen as I'm editing. So if you look right up here, anytime it's something that you're able to edit, you're going to see edit appear at the end of that URL. So I'm going to go up here and I'm going to right click and copy that URL. I'm going to come back into Schoology. And so here it said click on the link below to work on your document. I'm going to click on the link tool. And I'm going to paste my link into this area. I'm going to give it a title, like just going to say that it's the, you know, it's the work file or whatever I want to call it. But now I'm going to go back up here to this link and I'm going to go to the end of it. There's one little change I need to make. So where this says edit at the end, I'm going to get rid of that. I'm going to replace the word edit with the word copy. I'm going to insert that in. So what will happen is when they go and tap on that on their iPad, it'll open up the file and it'll prompt it right away. It'll say, do you want to make a copy of this file in your Google Drive? They'll say yes. They'll have their own copy to work on to then be able to submit. So now what I got to do in Schoology is go ahead and flesh out the rest of my stuff. You know, am I giving this a grade so I can set that? What category am I giving it? Um, if I'm doing the grade by points or if I want to do a rubric instead, I can do that. Uh, I can set my due dates and I would definitely set a due date because then that puts a reminder on the student, uh, student calendar uh, to remind them to get things done. Then down here under options, you want to make sure that the submissions are enabled, that this box is colored in or else they're not going to be able to hand them in. This part here, it says comments. That's going to be up to you. The comments are separate from the assignments that they put in. The comments being enabled, that would basically allow the students to post things like, hey, I'm not sure where to go for this, and that another student could answer back to them. So it's basically like having a little mini discussion board at the beginning of the assignment. If you don't want that, which I don't for this particular one, I'm just going to get rid of it. I click Create. This will load into my course. Now it's grayed out because I have this entire folder unpublished. But if I wanted to take a look at it, you'll see that the icon has kind of like the pencil mark with it there. I can go back into Edit, and then when I'm ready to go, I can just make sure that I publish that so that all the sections see it.